scrimmage. There's three of them on the line. Corner comes in, headed away. Referee blows his whistle for full time. And it is a Chippenham win. It is Maidstone United nil, Chippenham 1. And Maidstone United fans not too happy down in the town end. Most of the Genko has cleared out by this stage already. So it is a home defeat to finish 2023. And the home form had been so good up to this point, Piers. And yet Chippenham had themselves a game plan. They stuck to it very effectively. Had a lot of periods where they soaked up a lot of pressure, certainly at the end of each half. But Maidstone United failed to get themselves a win here at home for the first time probably since Avely might be my guess about three or so months ago. Shan't tell anyone who the commentary pair was the last time that game was on. Um, <laughs> we'll quickly gloss over that and do some analysis of this match instead. Maidstone had their chances, but the one that uh, half chance, frankly, that Chippenham had, they put it away with a plum, didn't they? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it wasn't good enough for Maidstone there at all. It was uh, players didn't look like they were sort of out there on the pitch. They, they looked like they were they looked late. They looked lazy. No one really knew their sort of role. That's what it looked like. Um, I thought Liam Soul looked excellent when he came on. Got a lot of creativity out on that far side. Um, but that. You know, Chippenham had their chance and they took it, they got their goal and they had time with the three points and to be honest I think they deserve it because I think Maidstone were awful today. They were and they had some good form and they owed a performance after some of the away games that they'd had. I just have to mention again, I did say it was Taunton 1, Tunbridge 2. It's now Taunton 2, Tunbridge 2. So you think Maidstone are going to be a bit flat potentially going into Boxing Day but Tunbridge have managed to throw themselves away a come-from-behind win at Taunton and that's going to be a long journey home for them this evening when the Jay Saunders derby comes into play on Boxing Day on Tuesday but yeah just you know thinking back to those chances earlier there Piers for you know Sol Wanjo Smith that great save from Will Henry and then of course that one from uh, from Berkeley Adjapong uh, with that great effort saved again by Henry that one probably a bit easier but that strike from Jake Evans, just probably a, a great finish from him because ironically it was it was um, Kane Bradbury himself who had the initial shot and it was only because it ricocheted to Jake Evans on the edge of the box that the chance even remotely came to him and he just arrowed it into that top corner beautifully, didn't he? Yeah, no, it was a fantastic goal from, uh, from Jake Evans and uh, yeah, it was, it was the difference at the end of the day. Um, yeah, like I said, I thought Liam Saul was excellent, but there was just a lack of that, that final that final pass in for Maidstone just was never there. It was you know, there were, the opportunities were there but we just couldn't find them and that's that's been the difference at the end of the day. Chipman had their chance and they took it and that's that unfortunately. It is, unfortunately. There have been a few home My defeats curse, this season. The curse continues. <laughs> oh, I'd, if, if you're going to keep putting it on yourself, you might as well not bother coming because it's always going to be a case of you know, everybody has their personal record when they're on air with us here on Stones Live, um, producing the hot take for Stones TV, etc. Um, but the, I think there's got to be some credit to Chippenham for that performance this afternoon. They've they've put themselves, uh, you know, tr with absolute aplomb this afternoon. They've put in a performance um, that uh, you know Chippenham fans are going to be very happy with. They had a game plan. They stuck to it. Uh, they did what they needed to and they've come away with a, a very respectable and possibly surprising three points from their side of things. I know that um, certainly the head-to-head -head records, I think there's only been one game where both sides have scored um, in the same match before um, and that would have been uh, last season, uh, well, two seasons ago, sorry, um, when Maidstone completed the double over Chippenham last season. So, the last word obviously has to go to Jake Evans who scored what turned out to be the winner today so with a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave us to know he had nothing to dread he spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled up the onion bag then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod like a salmon the strike he did at least rose he sprang to slay to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle but I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good 
night. So it is a Merry Christmas from all of us at Stones Live, not just myself and Piers, Chris, all the way through our squad that we have, from everyone at Stones TV and from Maidstone United. We will see you on Boxing Day at Tunbridge Angels. And as always, Piers... New Stones. Come on, New Stones, indeed. Went a bit early there. Come on, New Stone. <laughs> ho, ho, hones. I was going to try and do that before I interrupt myself. But uh, Merry Christmas to all. To all, a good night.